Human trafficking was on the agenda of the 44th United Nations Human Rights Council sessions here in Geneva. The UN Special Rapporteur had presented her report via video message. Despite the adoption of the recommended principles and guidelines on human rights and human trafficking, today anti-trafficking legislation and policies remain shaped by a strong law enforcement approach, with little attention paid to the rights of the person concerned. During the session, the delegations responded to the rapporteur. The Order of Malta and also the Holy See responded via their video message. The Order of Malta supports a focus on the protection and rehabilitation of victims that she wants to put in the fight against trafficking in human beings. Since human trafficking is typically led by organized criminal networks, it is only through an universal concerted approach that we will succeed in eradicating this crime for good. We owe this to past and present victims, so as to avoid more victims in the future. In this regard, the Holy See delegation wishes to bring to light the tireless work of faith-based organizations, which dedicate their work to prevention, rescue and rehabilitation of victims by assisting them in their gradual reintegration into society. Human trafficking is modern-day slavery. It is estimated that there are 20 to 100 million victims worldwide. Human trafficking is about exploitation, not transportation. This crime is not limited to any particular country. It will be too easy to say, OK, it happens in such place and in other place. No, 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 I don't want to name any country. I would say every my own country, Switzerland, is affected by this. While the current virus crisis causes the global economy to decline, criminal enterprises such as human trafficking seem to prosper. Definitely. It, it, it has increased the vulnerability. The vulnerability of people uh, to human trafficking. A, a, and then uh, uh, COVID-19 also has uh, been a great obstacle uh, to people trying to prevent or to protect, to prevent human trafficking and to protect victims. Generally, we hear about the rehabilitation and assistance of victims. But what is done to prevent human trafficking? Actually, what we are trying to do uh, is to promote awareness so that not only uh, the general public, but also the order Malta would be aware of, the, uh, <laughs> of this scourge. It is equally important to raise awareness about the demand side. If men, women and children are trafficked, this is ultimately because they are a great demand that makes their exploitation profitable. Those who generate such a demand, as well as those who support them, share real responsibility in this deplorable criminal enterprise. There are approximately 152 million child laborers and 25 million forced laborers that sweat and toil worldwide in slave-like conditions as a result of people's often mindless consumption of products manufactured by way of human trafficking. No, you're right. You know, uh, I must say, uh, again, uh, the general public is very much aware of the need uh, to buy consciously. You know, uh, uh, to buy, uh, for example, to buy produce uh, or to, uh, to buy uh, um, whatever is done uh, in conformity with the protection of the environment. But I would say we need to do more, more than protecting the environment, more protecting that the trees. We need to protect human beings. And, and then uh, definitely for this, we would need red labels. You know, labels to say labor, slave labor free, hmm? to, to put it bluntly. Uh, and not only to say uh, it's a bio, it's bio, no, it's human. Confronted with the overwhelming variety of dazzling products, specifically as Christians we should research the products we buy and realize that in spite the suggestions by today's advertising industry and TV commercials, not the manufacturer, but the consumer is in control. Indeed, as a consumer, we can do a lot. Pope Francis described human trafficking as a scourge in our societies because it denies the very dignity of the victim, treating her or him only as a commodity to be traded and exploited for profit. In one of the more dramatic examples of a throwaway culture. <laughs>